What's up guys, Kyle here. So today we're going to do quick checks for codes P0456. Uh, so first thing we're going to do is check the gas cap and then after that we're going to do a purge valve check. So if you have a car come in with P0456, the easiest thing to do is check and see if the gas cap is even tight. If you turn it and it clicks right away, which was this one did not, then maybe the gas cap. Next thing to do is take the gas cap off and look at the seal. If the seal looks like it has no cracks and it's not distorted, then you may have a good gas cap. But keep in mind that is not 100% all the time. Best way to make sure that your gas cap is good is just to replace it. It's usually about 40 bucks. So once you're done inspecting it, go ahead and give it a few clicks. And then let's go check the purge valve. So here's how to check a purge valve. So first thing you want to do is find a purge valve. So it's going to be a solenoid that kind of looks something like this. It's going to have a hose coming from the firewall. And it's going to be going to either the intake, like this one was. So it's going into the intake right here. Or it's going to the throttle body. Once you find a purge valve, you're going to want to take one end off and connect a rubber hose onto it. Then take your vacuum gauge and see if it holds vacuum. If it holds vacuum, then it's probably good. If it doesn't hold vacuum, then it's not good. So now I'm inside the car and I'm gonna go ahead and actuate the purge valve from the uh, scan tool. As you can see, it drops to zero. So now we know we have a good purge valve.